Start sound. Start. Okay, action. Mayday! Mayday! This is the scout ship Oz Explorer 4. My fuel tanks have ruptured and I've got a hull breach. This is an emergency. Well, this is this is exploring the human emotion of like you know the contact we have to have with other humans. It's um, there's no really deep message into it, but it, I was trying to explore the emotional aspect of you know what would happen if somebody gets stuck in, in the middle of nowhere. The idea of the documentary I've had it in my mind for a while mm -hmm. um, while I was doing the, um, the script, uh, and I thought wouldn't it be nice to put it all on a CD on mm. and then people can have a look at the, the, the project itself. Mm -hmm. uh, I know we're not doing anything new, it's been all done before. But it would be good to see like uh, how the project was put together and who the people people involved were. Yeah. Actually, I was trying, as, a, as a cameraman for that uh, documentary, I was trying to uh, show the, uh, the, uh, the scenes which we have behind the screen. Mm -hmm. Computer, status on stress beacon. Beacon transmitter is on. General distress message and location information transmitting. I need some actions from the director. What do you want? Some, some actions from the director. Okay, you, you want to stop at scene seven? And then we can yeah, that's, that's where I stopped. Yep. Then we okay. thought that was that's, a good place to do okay. it. Okay, alright. So the adaption of the novelette, was it, did it, this short thing you've done, did it, did it capture the other ideas or the, or the feelings that you wanted to have in your novelette that you wrote earlier on? Well, it actually. Um, it went through several stages, and the first one that I did it sort of had a happy ending, and um, and I'm not giving too much away. This one doesn't, yeah. uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it went through a lot of stages, and I had several other people in in there at first, but when I changed it into a short film, I was it to make it just one single character. I played the character, <laughs> <laughs> Commander Tesh Bishop. Tesh Bishop. He did that just so that I could stumble over the words a bit. Tesh Bishop. See? Yes. Solo flight. Mayday! Mayday! This is the scout ship Oz Explorer 4. My fuel pipes have ruptured and I've got a hull breach. This is an emergency. I repeat. This is Commander Tesh Bishop. There's a hull breach on my ship. I need immediate assistance. So tell me about Tesh Bishop's character. All right, she's, um, she's a very strong woman, uh, very young, so she's had to sort of fight her way to get to this position to be able to be you know, flying solo in a, in a spacecraft at this stage. Uh, very intelligent, uh, very controlled, but definitely has the human side. Computer, command. Conversation mode. Conversation mode activating. Please wait. Good morning, Tesh Bishop. Well, the character I was playing was actually the computer. So it was quite easy for me. Just mm -hmm. read the lines, but trying to do all the pronunciations was a bit of a, a problem. <laughs> Robert, um, yeah, Robert. We used to go to a university together. Um, I always known that like he's he had this, you know, he can do this weird and wonderful voices, and, yeah, uh, yeah, and real sound effects and things like that. So as soon as you know, I thought of computer voice, and I, go, I thought of him. So I Secondary it. fuel valves closed. Inner cockpit hatches. Sealed. Secondary fuel valves closed. Inner cockpit hatches sealed. Okay. Everybody ready? Yeah. Okay, camera roll. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Um, I did the camera work, and I'm I'm Megan. I did the continuity. Um, I thought at first I was just like. Oh no, it's a sci-fi because I'm not really into sci-fi, sorry to say. But um, I had heaps of fun on it and the actress is great. And so, yeah, I thought it was an amazing experience. I enjoyed it, but it was different because I'd never seen anything used, like never filming, use a computer, like where you actually put the footage right onto the computer, like the sound and things like that. So it was interesting for me because I got to see a new way of filming and like, it opens up new possibilities. I mean, what other difficulties did you find on the shoot? Oh, <laughs> having nothing to work with. Uh-huh. <laughs> you mean like no props? No nothing. props. Yeah. Sitting on a stool, uh, having a keyboard in front of me which won't even be used. <laughs> so that was weird. Mm -hmm. uh, having to look relaxed on a stool, 
<laughs> that was yeah. Wait. So I, basically, I think just the the whole the whole setup was. I mean, it was very cool to do, but completely new to me. Right, right. Um, right. You know, it, it's and I really can't wait to see what it looks out like in the end because I mean, I kept on saying, "So aren't you having?" Even, even the cockpit is, is set up. No, no, we're doing that on the computer as well. Mm. So it's just amazing, like to think that the whole thing can be done on a computer. Yeah. Uh, I really enjoy embark embark that my friend project, scientific project. I really enjoy that, and um, I'm glad to meet other uh, charming person, actor, and uh, a technician, technician. Is that I mentioned? I'm saying it's a little bit. I'm really, really glad to see them, to work with them. I was basically a behind-the-scenes person, just getting everything, getting everything ready, um, from the equipment, getting the people together, and uh, making sure everyone knew what was happening, um, what the schedule was like. Um, so it was a challenge. It was different to what I ex first expected. So what do you want to take it from here? Take what do you want to do from now? Um, oh, just keep finding more projects to act in. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm also, I, I did this course with everyone involved, and uh, so obviously I'm interested in filmmaking mm -hmm. as well. So just to continue building up skills in, in the acting, in the filmmaking, and build more projects to, to keep going higher and higher and see where it gets me. I do have two more other projects. Um, Made us to say they're both science fiction. So science fiction. <laughs> As you might have guessed, I'm a science fiction freak. Uh -huh. <laughs> really? <Tell Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, I do have a drama at, in work as well, but that's not going to happen for a while until I do this other thing. Oh, lots well, of stuff, is yes, it? Yes, that's okay. why I have very, oh, very <laughs> big dreams. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I want to do a motion picture one day. Yes. Uh, I'm thinking of making some documentary stuff about. Um, it's made of a Korean, it's my background, my country's background. Yeah. I just wanted to be a, like more of a director, but actually being on the other side, producing it, this is, hey, it's actually quite fun too. Uh, oh, I don't know if there's, I mean, the, ho the overall thing will be good to have, I mean, there's a number of good things. To be able to be acting is good, <laughs> to be able to actually be working on a project. Uh, the way Masood has organised where it will be seen and what it will be doing, I think, is fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, I'm really pleased that there's actually going to be some, you know, somewhere for it to go. You know, the people are going to see it rather than just, oh, this is fun. Yeah, store it away. Watch the film. It's excellent. Computer, status on stress beacon. Beacon transmitter is on. Yeah, it's fun. It's that keeps up fun. Yeah. yeah. Doing this documentary is a great idea, you know, just yeah. a nice little neat thing to wrap it all up.